Welcome back. Oh my god. Listen, two episodes, one week, two parts, cell games. It's it and when did it's 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 the extravagant I don't know, it's the cell cells in Cell's words, the extravaganza of the century. My man, <laughs> yeah. is, he's out here. He's already, he's already what four zero in mm-hmm. in the Cell Games tournament. He's the beast. He's, he's defeated the uh, you know Balkan Skull, uh, known as <laughs> Stroni. <laughs> AC. AC. He, he's defeated the the former world champion Hercule, um, one hit KO. You know, um, he's defeated Goku himself. Yeah, and nice. now. And and now we're rolling back in to essentially he's going back in with now Goku's son Gohan. Yeah. Um prime time. That this is it. Listen, this is ABC. This is the finals of the you know, this is eight PM prime time. Listen, you can't get any better than that. Um Damn, just it, it, listen. The Cell Games is so good, and up to this point, a lot of things are about to happen. We're about to go through we're about to run through a whole bunch of cool stuff so yep. bear our excitement we'll be a lot of things crazy. are gonna go full circle you know You'll, for sure it's it's gonna be crazy um should we get into it yeah man let's let's do it bro i'm i'm, I'm always ready to talk about my man team gohan man listen let's get into the part two of the cell games like like and i call this podcast by the way like father like saiyan <laughs> Shout to <laughs> it's a Birdman. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got, we got to, we got to crop them on that double XL cut. I, I, we've got to, we got to at this point. <laughs> we got to at this point. Gohan steps up to the plate. He powers up. Yeah. And Cell is intrigued. He's like, "Whoa, this kid is actually." I like type that. Of yeah, yeah. So um, like, all right. And they battle a little bit back and forth. What do you, in terms of just the early stages of this Gohan and and, and Cell mm-hmm. thing? There's not a lot of fighting that eventually goes on, um, because probably more different than the Goku versus Cell battle, this becomes more of a story-driven fight. Like, yeah. uh, like yeah. a fight that, a lot of fights that we've seen because it, there, there's, an, there's a complete episode, there's, and it's called Gohan's Plea, there's a complete episode where he pretty much tries to warn Cell about his incredible hidden strength. He's like, listen. How do you feel about that? How do you feel um, about that? I think... Because where, where, that, that, did that confidence come from go on fighting and realizing it while he was fighting i think that came from the fact just... that gohan didn't actually want to kill cell okay and he was just warning you like listen we don't have to do this we can we, you can just leave and we don't have to fight for this planet and thing but if you continue to push me i've been known to do things that in in terms of I've been known to retaliate when I've been pushed against a wall and so and, you you think it was just him saying look I don't know what could possibly happen and I he was trying to anything. save Cell from himself I don't want to accidentally kill you because yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen if I if I break through I've seen I've broke through plenty of times on accident and bad things happen that's basically what you're saying okay, pretty so. much he's like listen usually it's bad things happen for like, the other people it's not more of like I know I'm about to extend it's more yeah. just like okay yeah I hear you he's fair, just like. Fair. But he, I don't think he ever wanted to reach that point. Mm-hmm. Um, Cell gets a boner from this. Cell is just like, oh shit! It, show me, yeah, <laughs> show yeah. me. This is what this untapped is, potential. Like, wow. Okay, so maybe it was like, do I have to hit you in the face? You know, I'm gonna hit yeah. you in the face a lot of times and see if that. Oh, uh, nothing yet. Um, we're, we're, know, get, we're getting to like we're getting to that that meat of what yeah. this all means. The uh, piccolos yeah. continue to to he's seeing this and he's probably just as hysterical as maybe Chi Chi is at the time because mm-hmm. um go Piccolo and Gohan's relationship over the years is strong in their bonds. He's seen him as a kid and helped him grow. And he tries to knock some sense into Goku and just says like listen, he's an eleven year old boy and wondering where his father is and not about some silly just like battle. He's not a warrior. Gohan is not a warrior like you. He's just an eleven year old boy. Again, bro, I'm smacking the shit out of Piccolo on site, bro. But it, but it, but it knocked some sense into Goku because Goku. It did. It did. I feel like, but it because but Goku, like, Goku for the longest has been like, yo, my kid is going to be a strong warrior, and I want him to train, and I want him to be just like me. But the reality is that he isn't. That Gohan just. Uh, 
Gohan is a has way more potential than he ever did with strength and way more potential to be actually somebody in the future. Whoa. And you're kind of you know throwing that all away selfishly for him to battle this opponent where he could die. Do you think that tells a lot about how Gohan's story went post Cell Games? Do you think that the purpose of the Cell Games was to show you, you know, Gohan is the strongest being in the world at this point in time. I think this is his moment and this is what it is. And this may be his peak moment for the rest of the series, you know, like. I think the purpose of the Cell Games was to bring Dragon Ball Z full circle. Right. From, from from the beginning of Dragon Ball. From where, the beginning you know, of Dragon Ball Z with Gohan exhibiting these strange powers and mm-hmm. just being the son of the strongest person on Earth to sort of Goku passing the torch and just the development of Gohan and what he was supposed to be. Because originally, according to, at least to the manga, this was supposed to be the end of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, it, if it, if it felt that way so yeah it makes it, a lot of sense yeah. it, this was supposed to be the end of dragon ball z they initially did not plan for the boo saga to be developed um a manga wasn't even developed for the boo saga at that point how many years was it after was it eight or seven do you remember for what do you from, mean from um uh after sale games Let's, in from terms of to, when it to, aired? to sale games to you know go tin and trunks how many years was that Oh my god. Um shit. They say I, it. They say it at the end of like they say oh, it at the beginning it's like, of It's roughly like I believe it's like seven years. Seven, yeah. I think it was something like that. Okay, okay. It's like seven years it happens. Go go Hans in school, he's in high school, or maybe a couple of years after that. Um he's in he's in high school and you know, doing all that other cool high school shit. It becomes, you know, way less about right. uh, uh things. Um but I think, yeah, the, the the plot of this was to bring everything full circle. But just with the demand and the popularity of Dragon Ball Z, and especially in Japan, um, things took a little bit of a different turn. And I think people demanded, you know, more episodes. Um, you know, it's a... It, it was a very it was a very big moment. It was the biggest moment in Dragon Ball Z history, you know, in yeah. my opinion. And it's just, I, I think after something like that, it, it's actually very similar to what happened with super just now yeah uh you know it's like at first it's like oh this is the end of super that what i mean that's what had came i mean that's what the information that came out right. super and i think it just got so out of control big that you're just like this is not the end of super so <laughs> or this isn't the end of dragon ball per se and it's like i think there's something similar it's like okay we did this storytelling this is the end oh wait this isn't the end because you guys enjoyed this so much and yeah um, hmm. who knows? I'm looking. There's Toriyama has been quoted saying that he originally planned to end the series after the first hunt for the Dragon Balls when it Ray ran. However, there, he never gave an official word on whether he intended it to end for the Frieza or Cell sagas. So we'll um, see. At least it didn't end in Frieza. <laughs> Facts. Um, because that would have been weird. Um, yeah. Android 16, who's watching from the sidelines. Swoops in. He can't be detected. He's a fucking android. Who's going to know that he's coming? He swoops in and he grabs Cell in a bear hug. And he's just like, I'm about to end this shit. I I, I can't risk anyone else being hurt. Um, I, I can't risk Gohan being hurt, especially, you know, how many people are affected by him and all this other stuff. I'm going to risk my life. I'm going to, you know, employ my self-destruct button and we're about to be out. <laughs> Everything is about to blow up. Hey man, you know, I'm just talking about this moment is crazy because out of all the clutch moments that, that uh, you know, Boma has had, she just made one mistake. This is the unclutchiest, <laughs> the unclutchiest of them all. She made one major mistake. You used to have a bomb hidden inside your body, but Boma. She told me that Dr. Breeze found it when they had you in for repairs, and he decided to take it out! Uh, uh, uh. Bulma, what he just said, is it true? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Sixteen! You can't self-destruct anymore! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs>
You big idiots. Such a shame. But then, a mere bomb wouldn't have been enough to destroy me anyway. But you know what? It, At the end of the day, she's protecting Goku. To she me, was protecting Goku. She's rich, someone man. she's known for twenty something right. years, Isn't and some so android dope, she practically found in the trash and had to repair. Um, She's like, I'm not keeping this in him because this is this is to destroy Goku. What we're hinting at is Android 16 originally had a bomb implanted in him, mm-hmm. but during the sort of renovations that Bulma was making to his entire body, she found the bomb. <laughs> she uh, was opening him up. She was like, Oh nah, nigga, we ain't keeping this in here. It's like, b- found a bomb. Actually, Doctor Briefs found a bomb. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and she was just like, Listen, this this android may have been sent on a one way trip. This android may by all intents and purposes have been sent here just purely to destroy Goku by any means possible. Um we don't know if his intentions will still be the same after this. So, so let's just take it out. Just, just in case. Take it out. <laughs> Boom. There you go. My nigga doesn't feel any empty shit in his chest. He's like, nope, it's right there. Yo, that must have sucked, bro. I would like because the only way I want to even get that close to sell is if I have something like that. Right. right. <laughs> so 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 the fact that he got that close to sell, and then could you imagine just then you're just like, damn, it's not in here. It's not what happened. He, he's like, I think 16 was like <laughs> he glowed and like, then glowed and he was like <laughs> and then, shit. And then he's just like, nothing happens. Cell's just like... Krillin is the one who breaks the news. To me, Krillin is the commentator for really anything. Any sort of things you want to get across from point A to point B, you kind of let let Krillin know. know. Um, So Krillin's like, they took it out of you! (laughs) (laughs) And 16 is just like... I can't believe this. Y'all got me looking fucking stupid out here. Yeah, bro. But at the same time, it's like, yo, what are you doing? (laughs) Like Nobody asked you to do that. Who was the bigger fool? Chiaotzu for blowing himself up on Nappa <laughs> or Android 16 in this part? <laughs> That's a really good question. Uh, Who's the bigger both, Bobo the fool? They're, they're both really stupid moves to make. Um, but I'm going to go with 16. Only, only I got to say. I gotta say, Chaozu. I don't it? know. I mean, but Chaozu but... takes the cake. At least sixteen thought he had something in there. <laughs> Chaozu blew himself up, dude. Did for you... what? Okay, listen, listen. I'm here. To, I'm here to debate that, but I, I hear what you're saying because Chaozu had to know that wasn't gonna work. He, I mean, I don't know if he knew that wasn't gonna work. There's no it, way it he knew work. that was gonna work, bro. He ended himself quick. He said, sorry, guys, I'm going to do this to save you, Tien. And then Tien's like, what are you doing? I'm like, blowing myself up. And my nigga did not die. This man Tien's <laughs> like, yo, it's not, it's not, don't do that, bro. Like, it, and then Tien got mad, like Nappa killed Chop 2. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, Nappa's sitting there like, huh? oh, well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, he's like, oh, there's a oh, little, my little guy gone. Both very dim-witted moves, but to be fair, I guess 16 did not know that he didn't have anything in him, so he was, it, it was pretty courageous all in all, right? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Um, Cell breaks <laughs> Android 15 <laughs> into a million, jillion pieces. <laughs> um, like a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head is all gone. It flies in a million pieces. Like, it's a, it is what it is. And Gohan is, like, slowly... He's losing it, man. Yeah, he's slowly he's- losing his power. is beginning to swell, and Cell's realizing that. He's like, oh, okay. You know, Cell's boner in this is just continuing to grow. He's just like, oh, okay, we'll, we, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little bit more out of you. Yeah, he's not quite satisfied yet, but he understands that what he's, he, he, at that point, he starts realizing what he has to do to, to get Gohan to be pushed. Enter the Cell Juniors. Cell Juniors. Okay, listen. Cell Juniors... Uh, underrated. Hmm. Uh, their, their personalities are hilarious. Um, although cell giving birth to them, them are weird. 
Um, but apparently they have like base power of Super Saiyan. Like. Yeah, it's just like I'm like, how? Wait, like, why damn, are you so fucking strong. I'm saying, how like, big is the gap between the power levels hey, of? Man, all I gotta say is, Cell Junior was stronger than a Super Namek. So, Boom. if that needs to tell you anything, listen about these these little fucks. As far as we know, know, as far as we know, in terms of strength, it's Cell. Goku at full power. Maybe Gohan after that. Mm-hmm. But probably before Gohan, I don't know. We never saw Gohan actually fight the Cell Juniors. But the yeah. Cell Juniors are right under Goku or Gohan at the Cell point. Juniors beat everyone's ass up until the magic happens. Everyone's having a hard time. And, For, and like they just can't, they can't. Like to me, I'm looking, I'm like, damn, they're. They're about as strong as seventeen and eighteen, right? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> like, jeez. Uh, I feel, I feel like Piccolo's and Bears and T- and Vegeta is as well that they're having to fight little kids. Mm-hmm. Um, Yamcha and Tien did not show up to fight. Now have to fight. Um, <laughs> a lot of chaos is going on. Every when Cell Juniors came out, it was like chaos. Gohan, Goku's at half speed. He's getting his ass whooped. Um, because he's not at full strength, he didn't eat any of the sensu beans, and at some point, Cell steals the sensu beans. I just remember, like, <laughs> all I remember is Cell Junior like beating the shit out of them, and then like Go- Goku's on the ground, like, why did I? <laughs> why didn't like, I take those damn beans, yeah, bro? He's like, yo, why, did, why, why is this all happening? Mm, I should have took the right. beans. I shouldn't let Go Gohan do this. Like, he's like going through. He's like, I'm sorry, guys, it's over. Like, niggas, like, asked, I can't believe this. niggas asked Tien and Yamcha. He's like, yo, Tien and Yamcha save Goku, and they're just like, all right. I mean, we'll see what happens. But the Cell Juniors are putting to hurting on everybody. Like, literally everybody. They're strong as fuck, guys. Whatever, for whatever reason, Cell Juniors, how many were there? Six? There were, no, there were, I believe there were seven. Seven? I believe okay, there were so seven. Seven little cells who are about, a, they, they seem to be a little, they seem to be a little bit stronger than Super Saiyan. They're stronger right than Vegeta. Yeah, which, maybe as strong as Vegeta. That's what know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking they're more on like, an ascended level, like ascended mm-hmm. Super Saiyan level, um, but I don't know. Maybe they're a little weaker than that because are the Cell Juniors featured in any of the games? Uh, I think. Oh, you know what? They were in one of the Budokais, but it was like a kill twenty of these type things. You oh, know what I'm gotcha, kind gotcha, of like gotcha. Saboman situation. Like they'd make you do like a mini game of like kill twenty Saboman oh, okay. or, or kill ten Cell Juniors, that type of thing. All right, sounds good. Um, Cell is just like nothing. My children, yet. yeah. <laughs> My children <laughs> beat beat everybody up. First one to kill somebody gets a you know da 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 da, and and Gohan's like no. <laughs> um, and they look like they about to kill Krillin. I feel I just fell in my bones. You just knew like, you're like oh he's go after the ball one. Um, Mister Satan uh, is off in a way, but. By him is Android 16's head, which is still fully functional. Dr. Jerome's really a genius. Um, nobody. Shouts Jerome, man. Just a head. And he says, throw me by Gohan. And Hercules Mr. Like, Satan. What yeah. You say, bro? <laughs> Hercu- like... Her- Hercules just like, at first everyone's just like, nah, are you chill me? You just yeah, a head. Like and Hercules really- like. I gotta do this or something along those lines. <laughs> he just got courageous. All he time. grabs him. He's like running through blast and shit. And it was a, a great scene. Great scene. Mark. It was a great scene. He's there running through blast. He's scared. He's frightened as shit. He throws the head. The head lands somewhere between Cell and Gohan. Yeah. And shout to Hercule for this moment. He did it, buddy. He did it. He helped save the Earth. Gohan is just like, this is it, man. This is this is. This is when it. This is when, like I said, man, the, the historic moments begin. It's like you, you just got all these emotions that have been going on for Gohan. You know, since since we just been talking about it the past ten, fifteen minutes. You know, it's like all these things have been going on back and forth with Cell, Cell trying to push this ultimate power out of him, um, and basically, you know, you got sixteen. He's just he's he's talking to Gohan about life. Right. right. And, and what it means and and to kind of like whatever you're feeling, you know, just let it go. He says, 
pretty much that. He says, go on, let it go. It is not a sin to fight for the right cause. Mm -hmm. There is those who words alone will not reach. Sell it is such a be is such a being. I know how you think all the are you you, is this direct quotes? Um, These are direct quotes. Yeah, kill that, kill that. I know how you feel, Gohan. You are gentle. You do not like to hurt. I know because I too have learned these feelings, but it is because your cherished life that you must protect it. Mm. Please Mm. drop your restraints. Amen. Protect the life I once loved. Yes. You have the strength. Yes. My scanner sensed it. Yes, Lord. Just let it go. Let it go, Lord. Beautiful. And then Cell crushes his head. <laughs> <laughs> and, then Cell, and then Cell steps on his Cell crushes his head. And that little tiny chip. Beep, 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 beep. And that was it, man. Go At that point, to the listeners, to the viewers, you know, Go oh, I'm, I'm splicing in audio, so it don't even matter. <laughs> oh man, like I just, I, bro, the greatest transformation of all time. The greatest transformation of all time. <laughs> Yet another fighter you could have saved. Sixteen, you love life. You gave everything up to save it. And you were just an android. I let you die. I can't do that. I won't watch anymore. I I feel it slipping. Same mistake Trunks did, boy. Don't think you can beat me just by powering up. Stop it! Huh? That's enough! (laughs) Tell them to stop it! Ah. That's the way. Let it all go.
never forgive you for what you've done! The symbolism, the imagery, the Build meaning, up. everything, everything that led up to it, everything that came towards it. This wasn't like the original Super Saiyan. I mean, even though the original Super Saiyan definitely did have sort of, some sort of build up. Yeah, yeah, of course. Vegeta was talking about that shit like it was uh, th- that he reached it and he didn't reach it. And it was a legendary. <laughs> he was talking about that every time. It, it got on Frieza's nerves. And at that point, Frieza killed him because he just could, wouldn't stop talking about this legendary Super Saiyan. Um, but just to build up, I mean, we have even in the filler, they talk about just how strong Gohan is. We had a we had a we had a little flashback Gohan episode, Chibi Gohan, the man flies through a tree. You know, the, the kid flies through a tree. He's only a few months years old, still flying through trees <laughs> yeah. to save himself. Like Gohan in this entire battle had been watching, and while everyone's sort of demeanor watching Cell had been in shock, he was the most calm out of everyone. Absolutely. He knew what it was. He knew what his strength was. He had confidence in his father. He had confidence in himself. He had confidence in everything. He did not want to destroy Cell. He did not want to destroy the Earth. He did not want to sort of embark on this battle, but he knew at some point you got to do what you got to do. Uh, from the now beginning... Listen, go ahead. Real quick, bro. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan debuted um, December 12th, the year 2000. So I was 11, 12. Now, you were 10. Year two thousand, I was. I were, you were eleven in two thousand. We're both. We're literally two weeks apart in age. We really? had to be ten. Yeah, we're like two people. I was born in nineteen ninety two, not nineteen ninety two. Nineteen. I know what you mean. I know what you're saying. Oh well, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But dog, we were, we were, we were Gohan's. We were, we were almost age. eleven. We were almost eleven. Like, we were his age, bro. We were his Just age. Like, so you just like that, man, the power of the youth. Bro, it's like, it, it was, it was so, it was just, it was just a perfect time to be a fan of this series. Like mm-hmm. the perfect time. They gave the keys to a kid. Kids love the show. We love the show. Um, they introduced possibly the most anticipated. I first saw this transformation in Japanese. Mm-hmm in a public library because oh. I was looking up all these Dragon Ball Z videos and I remember seeing this and I just remember, oh, no, no, let me not say that. It's going to be wild offensive. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do remember seeing this transformation. I remember the stupor that was on Cell's face of him just like kind of looking back and realizing what he'd actually done because this is what he's wanted. And it, it was, was Gohan was shocking. just giving him what he wanted. It was shocking, maybe a little bit of fright, you know? I, I just think it was like, holy crap, this is what you guys were talking about? Just a pure blast of rage, energy, passion, emotion, everything mm. poured out into one, and Gohan ascended to the next level of Super Saiyan. Beyond the Ascended Saiyan, he becomes right. Super Saiyan 2. The big, the, this, is, this is the biggest debut to date. Uh, as far as strength as of right now, I mean, like, come on, man. This is like Gohan's whole demeanor and his swag and his attitude. It's almost like for just a little while, like, he actually was, like, really on some Saiyan shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Gohan's never been on some, like, warrior warrior shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is, like, one of the first moments you see him that's just, like, this is what it is to be a, to be a, a saying like I feel it now. Let me tell you about Dragon Ball Z and and what this meant. Dragon Ball Z at times in two thousand, a lot of some of you maybe weren't you know fully functional in two thousand like we were, but um, or at least didn't know this. Dragon Ball Z would pretty much lead the ratings for Cartoon Network. 
oftentimes it became one of the most highest rating just shows in the week. Forget actual just like cartoons. It became one of the highest rated shows of the it's week. Television. Yeah. It was just this moment, this cultural moment. I'm trying to figure out like what the rating for it, but I'm probably never actually find it. But because it's just so long ago. But what it, the rating for like that episode? That episode, but it's a Dragon Ball Z was huge. And these moments like these, moments like when Goku turned Super Saiyan, moments like the battle against Frieza and the battle against Cell and everything like that, the introduction of Trunks, those were big moments. Absolutely. And, you know, here we are, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan. Trunks' comments is just like he did it. He he managed to not become too strong and, and it's slowing him down. He's got the perfect mix of strength and speed and all this other stuff. This is what we were going for. And he managed to break through. Got it. That was it. This is it. these are the moments. And again, we can we can we can you guys can hear us talking about it and and discussing like what it is. And again, I, I just I stress it. Go go watch. You know, like the cell games over because you're gonna hit this moment. And you're just gonna be like, oh my god. Like I, I like it, it's just it's so good. It's so good. Not to be outdone by that amazing transformation. We get one of the most badass sort of episodes in in general. It was Gohan really just one kick KOing all these Cell Juniors? Yeah, um, I, I think Go. A lot of the times, Gohan has tears in his eyes, and a lot of and like in just like a lot of the moments of him like going in on mm-hmm. like he's so angry that it's just like it's just pure power and just... but this was like a stealthy calm though this was like a stealthy calm this was kind of like oh like when he basically just like saved everybody snatched the sensu beans yeah and was cutting through cell juniors a man just says he, he grabbed the sensu beans at some point he destroyed that that like renegade cell junior that was about to kill krillin um and krillin was just like just kill me bro like <laughs> it won't be the first time won't be the last <laughs> um and he kills him. He grabs Krillin. He teleports somewhere else. He drops Krillin. Drops the like beat, really teleports fast. back. Teleports back. Kicks another few, and he just demolishes all seven Cell Juniors. It's fucking incredible. By the um, way, Perfect Cell has a Cell Junior colorway on fighters. I just want to tell you that's really dope. Boom. Yeah, it's Easy. really awesome. Um, let's see. Cell has a mental breakdown, and the mental breakdown is it's telling. Based on, I feel like people who are concerned with being vain or no concerned with being perfect, um, and kind of ha- experience that maybe they're not as perfect as once they thought. Typically, I all this. I deal have with this weekly. <laughs> <laughs> I deal with this on a personal Typically, level. You have like, these reactions. You get a zit on your face. It's you're fucking just like, what the fuck is happening? This is not supposed to be what I'm dealing with right now. Like, and and it's just. You know, it's 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 actually perfect for what happens with Cell. I don't think we see any sort of character in this series have the mental breakdown that he's having, mm-hmm. because he's he just can't handle someone being stronger than him and just sort of easily handling handing them their own ass. And Cell is pu- Gohan one punch, and Cell is just like he's he's <laughs> spinning <the> up. <laughs> Got was, shit in his mouth. I was like, what the fuck was that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, holy crap, I ain't never been hit that hard in my life, bro. My man is trying to give him everything he's got. He's throwing all the moves at him. Gohan is countering them. A uh, special beam cannon, the nigga flicks it away. Uh, but Kamehameha wave, Gohan just blasted right he's back like, at him. All this shit means nothing to me. Eventually, Gohan lands a very deciding blow. Boom. The the blow, bro. The blow one of, the of coolest, all blows. One of the coolest things, and not to mention, I did not see this coming at all. I wasn't even expecting it. I didn't think about it. Um, it's it's probably like one of those things that's like, even in the upcut version, you don't see Cell actually vomiting. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just see 18 on the ground and him holding his mouth and then they cut to it. I think you hear a drop. Yeah. I think it would have been too much to watch 18 come out of Cell's mouth. Oh, it's a little much. It's a, a little, little, little much. You think it would have been too much? It's a little much. Um, <laughs> why do you think they decided to bring back eighteen? Um, for honestly, the purpose of Krillin? 
Well, I, I, I'm going to give you two. I'm going to give you two options. One, yes, for the purpose of Krillin and Krillin being getting a hard on immediately as soon as she falls out Cell's mouth, which is disgusting. Uh, and the other reason was, I think, the purpose of the order. I think uh, the fact that Cell needed to get 17 first, 18 last, and 18 was the last one that he ate so, or you know, absorbed. Uh, so I just think it's one of those things just like, well, she was the last one to be absorbed, so she's the one that come out. Yeah, I want to feel like they wanted to show her being vomited out, and then I think they, they were did. just like, "Nah." Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was drawn up because there's I'm an sure. angle. There's an angle to it. I'm watching it now. There is, and and they cut it. They cut to it, and I think you hear her fall out. Yeah, you hear um, her fall out, and you, you, you now see it from behind. Check the manga. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously it's drawn, so I don't know. But like, I don't think there's like a more uh, violent picture of him throwing up 18 but w- 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 the reason why this is so crazy for the listeners if you don't know you should know or maybe you just do know but when he absorbed 18 and 17 he did it when he absorbed 17 and 18 he did it through his tail so uh for him to throw him up out, the, out of his mouth was you know something yeah it's a, it's crazy um i actually have the manga in front of me um all right, I'm not going to look through it right now. Um, he reverts back to his, his, his form, and everyone thinks they have the battle won, and but everyone's also wondering, like, why isn't Gohan just killing him, like, right now? Right. It could have been over. Now, this is, this is what I, this is, again, what I like to call the Saiyan syndrome. Mm-hmm. Um, Cell has it. We've seen him act, we, I mean, he does it. Uh, Goku has it. He just has it in his own way. Uh, Vegeta has it. Only person I haven't seen really have that instinct was um, Trunks, and that's because Trunks has <laughs> seen everybody die, so he don't want to take no yeah. chance. <laughs> but every other saying is like this. They're just very, um, you know what, not just am I going to kill you at some point, but I want you to suffer. I want and you it, to it, suffer. In, in between that time, maybe something reckless may happen and I can lose, but I want you to suffer. This proves to be a major mistake. It, it is a, you know, it, yeah. Because Cell is now like, if I can't win, I'm just gonna blow up the earth anyway. Like fuck everybody. Like literally. Um, you guys are trash. I'm tired of this planet. I win anyway. <laughs> At that point, he's like, yo, I am not fighting this kid. Buddy. He's like, You think I lost? I win. I win because the goal was to blow up the earth after I defeated you all. And if I can't defeat you all, I'm just gonna blow up the earth anyway. And everyone's just like, damn. Real quick, before can we can we talk about like the you know the audience yelling at Gohan like what the hell are you doing kill him and Gohan's kind of just like I got this niggas <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's just really it's it's a cool moment but it, it's it's blind rage you can tell that he's at this point he's so confident in what he's learned the power you know, is just so different it's, it's different so it's far. different so you can't be mad at him for it because he's never had to be, he's never been in this situation I don't you know. know if uh. I think Piccolo would have killed him. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I just, I just think you know. Again, at, at the same set, you, just like you say, oh, he's only again. Kid. Piccolo should have killed Cell initially. Like, what was he doing? Th- these are facts. And and, and again, doing? you got to use the same. You got to use the same shit Piccolo used. Oh, he's just a, he's just a boy. And he, that's, this is true. At the end of the day, he may have all this power, but he's just a boy. You know, and and the power it's a blind rage. It's it's his hidden potential. So you, you got to give him a little bit of leeway. Gohan immediately regrets his decision. <laughs> yeah, of course. But then Goku's just like, I know what I have to do. This is it, guys. I'm actually gonna save the world. Um, or try to. Right, right. I'm. <laughs> it's gonna be me. Sorry if you thought it was gonna be somebody else. Um, Gohan's lamenting, and then Goku pops up, and it's just like he 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 shares a few departing words with Gohan, and says like, "You're the man of the family now. Take care of your mother for me." Um. And and he just feels strongly like this is what he has to do to save the earth. What is it, Goku? Do you have a plan or something? What? What do you want us to do? Listen, there's not much time left, and I can only think of one way to save the Earth now. 
What are you talking about? No, don't. I think I know what you have planned, Goku. You don't have to do this! Goodbye, friends. Uh, <laughs> Goku! Wait! Don't leave us! <laughs> Ten more seconds and the Earth will be gone! I guess we'll call the game a draw. <laughs> no! Hey, you put up a good fight, Gohan. I'm proud of you. What? Daddy? Take care of your mother for me. She needs you. Tell her that I had to do this, Gohan. <laughs> Goodbye, my son. Where does Gohan take him? Or where does Goku take this kid? Goku takes him to King Kai's planet. <laughs> Motherfucker. That's what I would have said if I was King Kai. Like, no, I'm watching this shit and now you're in my house? What's, Why, what's you could have just you? dropped us and dropped him in space. You need a new die Namek, anywhere? something. We, I, I told you where it was. Uh, just drop on new Namek. Why are you bringing them here? And then Cell blows up. And then there goes King Kai's planet. There goes King Kai. There Everybody's goes Bubbles. Dead. There goes Everybody you know, who was there is finished. Gregory. Everyone's dead. Except for Except Cell. For Cell. <laughs> Except for Cell. Whose uh, name uh whose name comes into into real purpose this time. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, everyone blows up, everyone thinks everyone's dead, everyone's crying. Psych. Cell's not dead. Um to me, all right. So how do you feel about this explanation of him being alive? Because I don't I didn't uh, buy it in the beginning. I well, kind of see what they're going for now, but I still kind of don't buy it. I don't know. I mean, I, I, to me, it's they're just expanding on him and his name. Mm-hmm. I think it was like, oh yeah, he can, re- you know, he can start over from a single cell. You know, like each cell has his own uh, brain. Yeah, but the thing is, he came back in his perfect form, guys, which made no sense. Now, and not just that, but. If I'm correct, I believe Cell, he said he was stronger than what he was. He said, I always heard that. Because but I think they didn't allude to it. In the, I heard in the series, at least, he came back with his full strength. That's what I heard. But I also heard that he came back stronger. He came back stronger, yeah. I, actually, I believe, I believe even on official power level charts, there's, a, there's like a post, like a post death perfect yeah. Cell strength. Yeah, like he, he apparently was stronger than we. Which makes sense if he has saying saying cells in him. That's all I'm trying to allude to. That's awesome, by the way. If if that's what they were going with. This not only does he return in his perfect form, which makes no sense, is completely unfair. Hold on, I, I know what you're about to say. I want I want I want to tell the viewers your notes here, real quick. Psych, cells not dead. He's back in perfect form. Trunks instantly bodied. <laughs> I, I just I because <laughs> I just read it myself. <laughs> you know, it's like it's so funny because that is literally how it happens, guys. Um, wait before he before he returns. There's this other like bamboozlement. Apparently, what? in the explosion, Goku cells rubbed up on his cells. Oh yeah, and he I learns it from transmission. I don't want to. I didn't. Even, I don't even want to talk about this. Actually, was, you could, if you want to talk about it, that makes no sense to me. Bro. That makes no sense. He's like, what? Goku cells exploded on my cell. So then I instant transmission. So back I learned to the instant cell transmission. It's like, and I acquired all his knowledge of and taste of food and all this other shit <laughs> that he probably did. And just like. He didn't get none of King Kai shit. Like, what the fuck? None of Gregory, none of the monkey, none of anything. What Bro, the fuck? I mean, I guess they needed a quick way to get him back to Earth. Yeah. And that was the best way to do it. But Listen, at the same time... They're already sh- running short on time. You get- <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. It was very strange. Um, <laughs> yeah, they went with it, though. They, they definitely went with did it. that. Um, 
he returns and yes, Trunks is instantly bodied. Um, <laughs> it was a death beam through the chest. Death beam straight through the chest. <laughs> a big hole too. It wasn't like a huge. It yeah, I'm size. Yeah, it was yeah, I'm just really like, whoa, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big ass because I look Frieza Frieza killed uh Vegeta with this move, but yeah. it was not that big of no. a hole. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's the first one to react. He was like, guys, I, I don't think he's doing that well. <laughs> it's like no shit, Sherlock. It's like, from the guy who knows about holes in the chest is 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 what his science is on this. Um at some point, Shrunks also coughs up blood, which is gross as well. Yeah, um, only on the only on the uh, uncut version. If you if you're watching on television, you probably didn't. See oh that. yeah, he does not cough up blood. All blood is black on on Toonami, guys. One hundred percent. Yeah, Cell tells the the BS story about how you regenerated, and, and right. Vegeta just like yo, and his one moment of selflessness, his one moment of, and this begins. This begins. This the, does begin. The development in the relationship and his mind thought and all these other things. What really matters, what's important. He sees his care. son, even though it's his son from the future who already had a died, who died, um, get killed, him. and he goes off. He tries to go after Cell. He does typically Vegeta rage move, which is multi-blast. Yeah, yeah multi-blast, uses a bunch of energy that he shouldn't, and does nothing. And then still comes back, who's like, was that supposed to hurt? And then just slaps the shit, bitch slaps the shit out of him. Yeah, Vegeta is out the scene for a minute. And he just says, I'm going to kill Vegeta too, because fuck these Saiyans at this point. And then Gohan jumps in. Sacrifice. Boom, Sacrifice. Gohan's like, not my uncle, bruh. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I took the hit, like, we related. I'm not, because, I mean. They're related. Isn't, the, isn't, the isn't, isn't that, thing. isn't that so crazy? Like, Gohan saving Vegeta, and well, and and get this: what is what does he say after he saved me? He's like, I've become useless on this battlefield. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Gohan. Gohan. What, dude? Like... My nigga knew he thought he was about to die, one hundred percent. Like he thought he was about to die. He one hundred percent, man. That was just a moment in me too. Like even even small moments like that, I think Gohan and Vegeta. If you guys watch the series, you know they don't really communicate a lot. Yeah. Um, so even though it was so small, anything that's sentimental from Vegeta, even if it's 5%, uh, it's something. So yeah. that, it was just like, that's almost like Vegeta saying, you know, he did. He said, I'm sorry, Gohan. Which he said, is, I'm sorry. It, it's, it, it is what it is. Like, it, it's. Gohan's entire bloody arm is just it's gross. It's, uh, he's got one arm pretty much to be able to use and Cell is just like I have no intention of fighting in this tournament. I'm I'm, I'm now I'm here to destroy shit. Like yeah. you you've it's got over. the tournament's talking, basically finished. He's like I'm, I've um, I almost died for real. So the, <laughs> so it's time. Here becomes the ultimate beam battle. If you thought beam battles before were beam battles, this is literally the ultimate Three episodes, three maybe four episodes yeah. of Kamehameha waves blasting one another. It's Gohan versus Cell. One final, whoever pretty much lands it is going to win this battle. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is the finale, um, and it, and it's a great finale. I mean, here's the thing: I wouldn't have been mad if it ended with Goku sacrificing himself, and this just kind of kind of ends. It would have been very very sad, but it would have been like you know a hero's send off but sure they decide you know what we're gonna do this they weren't lazy if if we're gonna do this we're gonna do this right and we're gonna make this thing and for you know for once we're not gonna depend on goku even though it's kind of dependent on goku um he still comes in and helps but to to uh to make sure everything is you know ended in, in a neatly packaged the ultimate beam battle i love this beam battle because everybody gets to shine in everybody. their own special way. Yep. Um, Goku's trying to help Gohan and coach him through this because Gohan's losing, losing confidence in himself. He's got one arm. Keep that in mind, guys. He's got, He's got one, one arm, arm. But Goku knows he has the strength to be able to pull it off. Um, at some point, Piccolo's just like, I can't just stand there and watch Goku. Gohan, you know, 
lose this. I need to do help. Even though, you know, and Tien says he didn't think he could, but he tried anyway. And that inspires Tien and Yamcha, even Yamcha, to say, like, listen, if this kid can do it, so can we. Yeah, Cell was preoccupied. That's why. (laughs) Everyone leaves the dead bodies of, of Trunks and Android 18. Um just on the on the side of a mountain somewhere. We'll get yeah, back to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we will. And they go behind Cell and they start blasting him and they blast him and they, we're getting this beam battle and it's just back and forth. And while they can't, they don't help that much. They they're just doing everything. It's they something. Can. It's something. It's distracting. It's, it's whatever it may be. It's doing something to help go on. The one deciding blow is just Vegeta. Vegeta says, "You know what? I'm going to help these <clears throat> guys too." And it's very uncharacteristic of him. It's very uncharacteristic, bro. For the entire series, he's distanced himself from the Z Fighters. My favorite part, guys. My favorite part. My favorite part. He favorite shows part. up. Vegeta, Vegeta's in the sky. Mm-hmm. Boom. He shoots a, a dope ass. The, 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 all he had left. <laughs> like, you think it was a big bang attack? Uh, he was holding his, I believe he was holding his, his, his forearm on his, hand, on his right arm, and he had his hand out like big bang. I don't, I don't know if it was like a, you know, smaller dosage or I right. don't, you know what I'm saying? But it, it looked like it was, it hit, it hit cell enough for him. Cell was like, fuck was that? <laughs> he turned yeah, around and was like, oh shit. And then, and yeah, he was like, yeah, get, you get <laughs> My <laughs> man, his legs, he, his legs went kind yeah, of weak a little bit. He buckled, he was like, whoa. He was like, whoa. What? And, then, and then of course, Go, uh, Goku's like, Son, this is it, nigga. This you get the it. you get the music. It's the it's the keys. It's but 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 let's talk about animation, bro. Okay, so as soon as Goku says, "Gohan, now this is it. This is your moment," and like and like they show Gohan's face, he kind of like has a blank stare, and he's like, "Oh shit, this is it," and he just lets it all it, out, bro. lets it all go. It it's so a, dope. It's the giant beam. The beam is now oh, around him. God. And it, uh, and it, and it's and it's colored and it's got lights and shit. I got I got chills right now, bro. Say goodbye. And, like, and, and and the music is playing. I I have chills right now. Gohan is walking towards him. Oh my god, I got chills right now. Bro. And the final music of Cell, where Cell dies, he's currently like, dun 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 dun. Cell is just disintegrating, and they, and they make sure they show you Cell disintegrating permanently. It like, got all the cells, even that big fat one that was just yes, <laughs> yes. Oh man, dog. Boom! Everything. I love it, man. The I cell, loved it. Even his red blood cells had no chance. The niggas was flowing. Everything was like boom. It's the biggest command wave that we've seen up to date. 
and it's over. And it's over. Well, one one arm. One arm. This is why Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Teen Gohan, will forever, ever, ever be one of the greatest transformations slash greatest Z fighters, no matter what Gohan decides he wants to do with his future. Because he beat Perfect Cell with one arm, a little bit of help from Goku and Vegeta and the rest of the Z warriors. But ultimately, this is Gohan, baby. This is it. This is it. Beautiful. It's over. It's beautiful. It's over. The credits are rolling. Um, if this was a game and if this is an RPG, the credits would be rolling, and then everything that happened after it would be after the credits. That's it. Um, but it's over. Gohan has won the battle. Earth is saved, and Ooh. Goku can be proud while from, also from dead. Heaven. Yeah, from yeah. from somewhere at least, wherever wherever he is, um, <laughs> and everyone's proud of him. You know. Vegeta tries to make sense of his journey and his purpose. He's just like, listen, he, 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 without Goku, what is what it, he's like? He's beating me completely first by his own action. Yeah, and now his son. And next by his son. What is left for me here? How could you die like that? I'll never <laughs> have the chance to put my strength against All you. that. And Vegeta still has a very nice, healthy, uh, selfish moment. You died without fear. What does that make me? <laughs> So am, dies, and that's immediately what he's thinking about. I am no warrior, and I will never fight again. Big, big statement from Vegeta. Big statement that never. Huge. My God! And then wow. he woke up the next day, and he was like, "I'm gonna go train." Yeah, you already know. <laughs> you already know man. He 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 went home, and he realized he was like, "Shit, I don't want to be here right now." I don't even want to be here. Baby shit. Um. Also, these post credit scenes, Krillin tries to score with Android 18, tries to score some points. You think wishing wishing the bomb, uh, dedicating an entire wish to Android 18 yeah. is really what solidified him in getting the girl? <clears throat> well, I, I would do the same thing. I mean, I, I'm looking at it like she kissed me on my cheek. Uh, I went through all this to k- try to keep her alive. She still was t- She still was absorbed. Got thrown up, so she's alive. It's meant to be, baby. I'm, I'm wishing her back. We wish her I know, back. Jeff. Me, I, I'm doing the same thing, and I'm immediately letting her know like, what I did for her. Listen, oh, she could have just not accepted it, like some other, you know. My man, my man, bum classless lady, Krillin on the uncut, uncut version of him asking Shenron, yeah, make sure you know her vagina works and. All this other stuff, he he made sure he was like, "Yo, I need I need everything." Pop. I was gonna say something, but I know it's way too. It's too much. You think it's, it's too, too much? much for the podcast? It's too much. Are uh, you sure? I'm sure. I'm 100 percent sure. I I usually have to stop myself when and think. Come to think it's like okay. This. At the end of the day, what we're trying to come across is he smashed. He smashed at some point. He smiggity smashed, my guy. And 18 um, is fire. Okay, I don't want to get it twisted to y'all. Man. She is fire. She's a 10 in in Dragon Ball Z world. Also in this post credit scene, Gohan comes to terms with Goku's death. He has to also deliver the news to Chi Chi, who is not taking it as well as possible. Maybe, you know, she's pregnant and feeling some things. I'm sure. um, but he's just like, damn, we just had sex last night and now he's dead. What's going, going on? on? Like, mm-hmm. none of us can drive. Like, he just learned how he just got his license. What are we my, doing? My man Gohan went to the crib and Immediately had the Scantron sheet waiting on the table. <laughs> Time to study. <laughs> Time to study. You're like, listen, you saved the earth. Now the earth is here. Now you can go back to your books. Like, there's no, there's nothing to face anymore. Um, Mr. Satan takes all the credit for being so. I mean, somebody's got to. Right? Somebody got to. Um, somebody's got to. Um, and the, and they show if if you've ever watched the Boo Saga, they show a very nice little reenactment. Um, Produced by Waves and Rocks um, of how the Cell Saga went down. It's pretty funny. It, you should all watch it. It's like the reenactment of it. It's it's pretty fucking funny. Um, the, the, Trunks goes back in time. And this is pretty much the, the open-ended thing that we complained about in the history of Trunks. <laughs> it's yeah. just like, this is how it ends. It kind of ends with... Yeah, luckily man. they have this part to kind of. Eh, at least that happened. Too. It's the yeah, it's the last episode, and it's really come sort of full circle in, in in terms of just like how this started, how pretty much all of this started, 
and how far Trunks has come along, and he goes back to the future. He goes back, and he's Man just handles. like Man handles him. I think he this the way he destroys eighteen is probably the most brutal shit on earth. I think he's been waiting to get his hand on some oh, android. Sure. He's been thinking about it since he stepped out of the high water time chamber in present can't wait time. Wait to get back. I can't wait. Yeah, man. bro, you are. You know, he's like he, he probably got out the chamber was like, oh, I'm stronger than all of them now. My nigga is just like he threw off his jacket. He was like, I'm just going to work. Just to just I'm gonna finish y'all right I'm here, right now. And, throw, and he just does it with ease. And, and and cells tries to creep up on him. Cell tries to creep up on him. You know, it's just like, yo, I'm about to steal your ship. And Trunks is just like, what are you gonna do? Steal my ship? <laughs> and how did you know? <laughs> I'm like, bro, it's over. I know everything about you now. I know everything. You about ki- you. you almost killed me, bro. You almost killed me. I think you did kill me <laughs> oh, at some point. Me. Yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> I ain't dealing with this again. And he beats Cell, and 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 he saves the future. Happy ending, man. The Cell games, bro. Cell games are over. Everything. I have an is announcement. Over. I have an announcement. Please talk about it. Um. Since I mean I currently finished the sale games just as you did, that's how we got through this. Uh, but I'm I'm going to watch, <laughs> I'm going to watch the the version of of Dragon Ball Z that you've been on me about watching. The bridge version. It's time. It's time, man. I, it's I'm starting the bridge in time. I'm it's ready time. to do a full episode on the bridge. My <laughs> it's God. time. We can do it because I I, I I'm, I'm sell games is finished. This is wrapped, so we got it situated before we move on to whatever else. Uh, which, you know, we'll have a good time with the fans, hopefully figuring out that. But uh, I'm definitely going to watch this, uh, this hood version, this, this, t- this fire version of uh of It Dragon is Ball. so good. I need and, some and, good laughs. And I, I've seen it on a serious note. And I need to, I need, to me, when I watch clips, what it looks like to me is mm-hmm. how things would really be said if it went down. And, and it just might be. It, you know, it just like might if, be. If, if just in a regular world, right? Like if in a regular world, if I'm TN and I pull up on Young Child getting murked by uh, Jero, I'm going to react just like TN reacted. Right. So, yeah, I'm going to rock with it, guys. We also have some other news for the podcast. Yeah. And it is about season three of The Lookout. Yeah, yeah. We have we have talked about the cell saga. Uh, we're not fully f- done with season two, by the way, just in case you're thinking. But we're we're preparing for season three because mm-hmm. believe it or not, watching these episodes are just a lot of work from time to time, especially Facts. given the, the the length of the saga. Yeah, imagine so, if this was ten years ago. We wouldn't even be able to find all these episodes properly. Hell no. Um, I would have to download some torrents and all this yeah, other thing. Yeah, way too much. much. Um, so we have a task for the listeners. So on the RNC Radio Live account, and make sure you're following RNC Radio Live, we are going to make you guys, have you guys decide what we're going to talk about for season three. Yeah. Uh, we have four options, and, and this will be up probably the day after the podcast. Uh, we have four options. We talked about, let me, let me run this back. What did you do? We talked about, all right, so the first option is, and, and they're essentially from all the different sagas. The, the first option will be we continue Dragon Ball Z and we run into the Boo Saga. We cover everything Boo. That includes, you know, maybe the Other World Tournament, maybe the Great Saiyan Man, but they, they all have to sort of do with Boo. We cover the Boo Saga just in general in its entirety. The, 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 the ending of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. yeah. We also have Dragon Ball on the table. And we may talk about the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament, which takes place in what they're calling the Tian Shinhan Saga. Um, the 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 crane, the crane, ver- you know, the crane hermit uh, versus the turtle hermit, and their factions that are going against one another. Don't tournament. don't don't be afraid to vote for Dragon Ball. It's it's it's. I think it's a bit underrated because of just how old it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's some good stuff on there, so don't be afraid to vote for that if you're feeling. We'll talk about it. We also have GT. And this will be our first foray into GT. And really talking about GT because we really... I'm not a fan. But if there's any arc that is worth talking about, it is a Super 17 arc. We just talked about the androids. We we were wondering what happens to Android 17 before we ever saw Super and, and the amazing things he did there. Yeah. Um... There, there was GT, 
and the Super 17. So we're prepared to talk, talk about the Super 17. And then finally, all ties in once more, the Goku Black, the future Trunk Saga in Dragon Ball Super. It's currently airing on the Cartoon Network right now in its dub form. It will be likely be done by the time we start recording Lookout Season 3. So we will definitely talk about the dub. We will talk about the manga, which is a little bit different than, you know, the anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind doing a whole episode on just differences. Yeah. You know, specific things. And, know, so. and it's just different from it. And just the motivations. We got future trunks. We're talking about that. So we, those are our four options. Please vote. If you do vote. And we're going to have a special contest. Yeah, alongside this post. So when we post this on the RNC Radio Live Twitter account, we want you to just first of all, we want you to follow RNC Radio Live, and then we want you to retweet the post, and we will select someone at random for either for the the, the prize of what we have. The prize will be uh, Jeff. Talk about the prize. So you know we we have we have a few. We're, we've been going through a few different things, but one prize for sure. Um, that I do want to make sure that people know about is uh, getting the the fighter pass or the slash season pass for Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, get you all the bonus characters that are coming out periodically. Um, right now, Bardock and Brawly are already out. Uh, by the time we do this uh, this actual event, uh, Zamasu Fused and Vegito uh, Blue will be out as well. So uh, yeah, you guys will have access to that if you if you win. Make sure you follow RNC Radio Live. Make sure you retweet that post that comes tomorrow. We'll be retweeting it. So if you ever need to find us, you can follow me on Meals TV at Twitter. You can follow Jeff at Old Newsboy. And you'll definitely see the post there. But we want you guys to decide what we're going to talk about next. And we'll willingly talk about anything. All these subjects are very exciting to us. We really have no qualms against any of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm with whatever one you guys want to do. It'll be a good time sending some questions, whatever you guys want us to talk about. For real. Well, easily. Um, we'll try to, we're trying to come back with another episode after this. So please stay tuned. Um, just when you see the lookout signal, look out RNC, follow us. You'll know when the next episode is coming. But until then, thank you guys for listening to us ramble about androids and cells and yeah. Goku's and Saiyans for the last couple weeks. Absolutely. Um, uh, Bandai, Funimation, holla at us. But until then, for all your RNC Radio needs, you can follow RNC Radio Live. You can follow RNC Radio on SoundCloud, on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Google Play. We're available wherever there is that you need to listen to us. We're going to get available there. Um, we have multiple playlists coming down the pipeline. We have so many different things going on, so many things coming up. Um, the month of June is crazy. So, you know what? Just stay tuned, stay locked in to the lookout, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>